Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm just editing part two of this little haul slash review. Um, and I just wanted to say hi again. Hope you enjoyed part one. If you haven't seen part one, please go back. I'll pop it up here. Watch that first. And then, yeah, watch this. Because it's good, I think. I don't know. But yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. And I'm just going to jump into where I left off from the second one. So enjoy. So let's jump into breakfast and let's make a nice cup of coffee. Okay guys, I've just sat down and I've got me coffee and a load of pastries, which I'm now gonna try. So, coffee taste, I haven't tasted it yet. Yeah, it's nice. I did two spoons, you wouldn't wanna do one. I feel like it's not strong enough, but I like it strong. Yeah, just tastes like coffee. No difference really. I'm sure you could taste the difference if you put them side by side. But if you're on a budget, give it a go because yeah, I can't really taste the difference. Now onto the pastries. So what have we got? So we've got a cookie, we've got a pecan plat, I think, and a what are these called? Bay no, not bagel. Pretzel. So I'm gonna go for pecan plat first because that's what I'm gonna have for breakfast. And I might just take a bite out of each one of these, but then save them for later. So, oh, look at that. let me flip the camera around. Look at that. When I um, picked these up this morning, they were warm still. So they are freshly made this morning. Look at that. They look really good. Mm -mm. Now for the taste test. I didn't get much of the gooey insides on that bite, but maybe that's because it was right at the edge. So let's try again. We'll give it a second chance. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. Really nice pastry actually. Taste test one, coffee, good. Not that strong, so we'd have two spoons like I did. Um, pecan plat, really good. First bite didn't have any goo in, second bite did, and it was delicious. So two thumbs up for those. Now, I'm gonna try the cookie. Okay, here's the cookie. Oh, let's break it in half. Oh, it feels a bit hard. Okay, it's not gooey or anything, but it has been sat out there for a little while since I got home, so it was nice and warm and fresh this morning. So maybe I should have tasted it as soon as I come in. But let's give this a taste. Gooey on the inside, a load of chocolate chips. Five out of five. Ten out of ten. It's good. Right, now for the pretzel. I have no idea what these are supposed to be like, so we shall see. I'm going to just give you my opinion of how it is. If it's too dry, maybe they're meant to be dry. I have no idea, so I have nothing to go by. So this is just going to be what I think of the pretzel. Hang on, I'm going to do a screenshot for this. Okay, thumbnail complete. Now time to eat this. It's nice. Tastes like a regular, like one of the small pretzels, but it's huge. Just it's like bread. It's quite salty. Mm, it's quite salty actually. Not a massive fan. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm a sweet person, not savoury. But if I was to go to a bakery, I'd much rather and much enjoy, much more enjoy, I don't know, a croissant or a plat or, I don't know, something like a cookie. Um, but it's nice, cheap, bit salty. But again, maybe that's my sweet tooth. Um, and yeah, maybe I'll see what Dad thinks of this one. Right, I'm going to crack on, drink my coffee, have a nice chilled day and then I'm going to go to work later. So I will see you guys in a little bit when I taste test some other bits. 
Okay, sorry guys if you can hear my computer, it's loading up and I'm gonna play Sims. I thought I would just do a review. Let me try and hold you in place. Bad angle, but it's just just got a thing in between my legs. Um yeah, I'm gonna review the Jaffa cakes and the real Jaffa cakes. So you can see the difference in thickness and also neatness. Like this has obviously got like a little lump of jelly and this is more like jelly all over and it's a little bit smooshed. Um, but it looks okay. So I'm gonna taste this one because I know what these taste like. Ooh, they're nice. They taste exactly the same. The only difference is the ratio. So with these, you get a lot more sponge. And with these, it's like 50-50, so it's quite rich. Um, so I prefer these ones for sure. Oh, just got a kick of orange. Whew, it's punchy, that. It's nice, though, for the price comparison. For the price, like, for the price difference, sorry. Um, yeah, I could swap to these. I prefer Jaffa Cakes, like the legit ones. But these would do, I'd say. Nice, like, crunchy, like, crisp chocolate on top. Mm. Now, the other thing that I really am excited to try is Pringles, which are actually called Snack Tasty. No, Snack Tastic. Texas Barbecue Flavor Potato Snacks. Oh my gosh, I can't open it. It smells like salt and vinegar. Crisps. They look like Pringles. Yeah. A bit paprikery for me. They're not as good as Pringles. But again, a bit like the Jaffa Cakes. For the price you're paying for them, they do. Oh, so paprikery. I just personally don't like paprika. We'll see what my boyfriend thinks because he likes paprika. I don't. Um, but the, yeah, I mean, they're like, what, 80p or something stupid, I'll put the price on screen again. Yeah, they're all right, they're just really paprika-y. How many times am I gonna say paprika-y? How is there not paprika in this? Oh, there, there is. It's one of the colorings is paprika. So that's a bit annoying. Yeah, it's okay. I would recommend if you're on a budget and you want some, like, Pringles, go for it, because they are nice. Um, and they are quite similar. The texture's a little bit different, like, Pringles are quite, thin and airy if that makes sense whereas these are more like actual walkers crisps like more <laughs> i don't know how to explain it like i don't know like less porous like more of just a chip like a crisp sorry um but yeah that they'll do they're all right they're not a great they're not like the perfect swap like the jaffa cakes i'd say were pretty solid they're pretty good it's just the um ratio of sponge and that Whereas these do taste different, so they're not a perfect swap, but they would make a good alternative if you are on a budget, especially at Christmas. I'm kind of disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. Let's try them one more. No, I'm not sold on them. So uh, that's that. Everything else though, I was really impressed with. Uh, so this is quite interesting. I'm just going through Morrison's and adding everything on my Lidl's shop to the, to the basket. And it has already hit, more or less, how much I spent in little total. But I'm only at the Jaffa Cakes. So I've still got, you know, seven or eight more things to add on. Um, so that's interesting. So we shall see in a minute how much it's all come to. Okay, so I've filled up my basket. I just couldn't get the pretzel because Morrison's don't sell those. Um, these ones. So I've added everything else and I'm actually amazed. I thought as I went along, it was like maybe 10, 15p here and there, uh, price difference, but I will list it all. Like I've made a big list here of like all the price differences and stuff. So it didn't seem that much going through them, but with my basket now full, is 10 pounds more expensive to buy from Morrison's? So even though some of these things you think, oh, it's only a few P here and there, it really does add up. So I'm quite impressed with that. Um, but yeah, very interesting experiment. I don't know what else to say, really. Like, obviously, some things they couldn't do the the own version. But where I could, like, I've got the own Jaffa Cakes, the own gold blend, like, 
I didn't go for all the branded stuff. So it just shows if you did go for the branded stuff, it would be a lot more. This would be more like five pounds instead of two. Um, the Jaffa cakes were more like uh, maybe one fifty, two pounds or something for twenty rather than twenty four. Um, so it does, yeah, make a difference if you bought branded or non branded. It doesn't actually look that much. I feel like I got a lot more, and I had to get a swirl instead of a uh, plat. But in my opinion, still a pecan pastry, and it would have been one fifty, and I got it for forty nine p. So yeah, I think possibly the chicken, obviously I had to buy separately, so it amount, amounts to the same amount, <laughs> as it were, instead of buying one big pack. So that's interesting. Uh, what else? I think that might be everything. The same with the mushrooms. I don't think I got as much, so yeah, I could have added more on, but I didn't. And I think that's everything. So yeah, very interesting experiment. Um, and I wasn't expecting that result, to be honest. I honestly thought it was going to be very similar pricing at the end of it just because as I was going through it I was like oh, there's not much in it to be honest but it just shows that it all stacks up if you do like a whole monthly shop or you know a two weekly shop you could save maybe 20 quid in Lidl instead of just 10 pounds 10 pounds is a lot you know you could buy a lot more for that 10 pounds in Lidl um for us Morrison's is more accessible it's closer you know it's more on our way home so we do use Morrison's all the time um but it has made me consider perhaps on my days off going out of my way and just going to Lidl because also I can go to the bakery. So that's a big, a big bonus. Um, yeah, so very exciting, really cool and interesting video. I love doing these kind of things. If you're interested, I might do some meal planning and also price comparison on there. So yeah, I don't know. I'm just interested in the finance side of things. I always have been. I don't know why it's a little bit nerdy, but I don't know, it always fascinates me. Sorry, I'm starting to feel really poorly. <laughs> So I sound like really weird. Um, so I'm just going to call it a day there, I think. Okay, I'll insert the clip of me tasting all the ice creams now before I go, just because I'm going to do that tomorrow because, you know, blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't matter. And ice creams. Hey, guys. So it's the next day, and I'm going to just do this ice cream um, taster. I'm not very well today. I've got precious flu because I work at university, and obviously everyone caught it. Um, so I'm feeling a little bit run down, and I can't really do or think or yeah so i'm going to whack these in the microwave for a little bit just to melt them a little bit or soften them i just like soft ice cream and then we're going to do a taste test so i'm quite excited mm -mm, just waiting for some rice to boil so i thought why not just jump on here and quickly do a taste test because i've been looking forward to this so much i thought it might poke poke <laughs> it might perk me up a little bit fingers crossed i'm also watching harry potter so i thought you know i might have a little bit of this as an afternoon snack because why not? <laughs> right, I'll flip the camera around and then I'll show you guys me opening them. And I have no idea what this one's going to look like. Okay, right. Excuse everything. I'm just doing everything at the moment. Ten minutes. Excuse me? What? <laughs> I really don't know. Does anyone know why this is ten minutes on? I, I don't think I'm going to put it in there ten minutes. Thanks. Sounds like a bad idea. Put that back on. Right. It's been in for like 25, 30 seconds. Yeah, that's probably soft enough to scoop. Do the same for this bad boy. Ooh, yeah, that's a lot softer. That's... There's no way it needs to go in there 10 minutes. It's ice cream. I was going to get a bowl and I really don't know why because I don't usually use a bowl anyway. So this is the um, gelatelli, gelatelli, I don't know, I'll just show you because I can't, yeah, looks good. We've got big nice, big nice, oh my god, nice big lumps of cookie in there. Oh, cold. Oh, it's nice. Just vanilla ice cream with like nice big lumps of cookie in. Very similar cookie lumps to Ben and Jerry's actually. The only thing is with Ben and Jerry's I think they usually have like flavours throughout the ice cream as well. Whereas this is just plain uh, vanilla. It looks like there's a bit of like chocolate chips in it. Uh, and then obviously the cookie dough lumps. But yeah, I'm quite impressed. I like that. Mm, that's nice. Peanut butter cookie dough. 
A peanut butter ice cream with chunks of chocolate chip cookie dough. Mm, that's nice. You know what? Sorry, this is probably really boring. I'm just sort of doing it as I go. I really like this one. I really do. Obviously, this one is peanut butter flavoured, the Ben & Jerry's one. So it's slightly different. And the cookie dough lumps have a slightly different texture. But they both taste really good and really similar. I'll just test it one more time. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure they have more flavours as well. So I definitely think I might go back and do like a haul of these ice creams. Just to show you all different flavours and stuff. Because this is good. Mmm. I love it. It's big lumps of cookie dough. Mmm. I love ice cream. I've never had peanut butter ice cream before. It's nice. Well, not my favourite Ben & Jerry's, I have to say. I think my favourite one at the moment is Cookies on Cookie Dough, which is really good. Um, I think it's that. I don't know. They're all pretty good, to be fair. It used to be fish food, and I always used to just have fish food. And then I thought, why am I doing this? I might as well try them all. And I'm really glad I did. Because fish food's good, but it's not the best. Mmm. Mmm mmm. Well that was fun. Okay. I have no idea how that went because it hasn't happened yet. But hopefully those ice creams were good. I'm sure they were. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it with a friend who you think could do with seeing all my videos and stuff. I just want to try and push this channel as much as I can. And hopefully I'll get monetized soon. Although I have noticed a few of my videos have already got adverts on even though I'm not getting paid for it. So I'm a little bit annoyed about that. Um, but I have queried it with YouTube and heard nothing. So fingers crossed they get back to me soon because it's a bit strange. Um, but yeah, anyway, please do share because I'm trying to get this channel to go somewhere. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.